Hey guys, it's Cook4149 here, and today I'll be talking about how to grief a server like a boss. So, there's like a few steps that you need to always do, and because now on these new Minecraft versions and new plugins that came out on Bucket, you like nearly every server has a grief check plugin, such as Log Block or Core Protect, which that means if you grief anything, they can easily roll it back and be laughing at you by wasting your time. So what you actually can do is, maybe when you're griefing, set, go use the slash tp post command and go somewhere really far and set spawn so their spawn point will be lost and then you can set home at the spawn and keep going there and griefing it and like that if the admins or the owner doesn't have their own set home at their spawn they, they won't be able to find it, most probably unless they find it by being really lucky so that's one way because normally grief check plugins you can roll it back if you're at the place that has been griefed but if you don't know where that place is you can't roll it back and like the other one is if the server has factions plugin you can um, disband the factions or you can use the faction bypass join them and then you can um, sorry for a minute. you can join them go to their f home and grief their f home and then disband it which that would be a pretty good thing when you disband or other thing they can roll it that back so like nearly everyone every player on a faction server has a faction and that's like the main plugin on most of the fac um, servers so that'd be pretty cool you know griefing the server disband the factions and see people rage at you um that's what I did on my griefing video for um scuba craft was it yeah it was scuba craft so then the other one is um, some grief check plugins you can actually stop it from um, saving records and if you do that then they won't be able to roll back so you don't have to change the spawn point or anything. And the other one is deleting all the warps. If you delete all the warps they will probably not be able to find most of the stuff and roll back them as well. And then you can go to player's home by using this command that you can see on the screen. So you can type player's name and then just leave it and you can see the list of their homes, go to their homes and grief it. Which would really piss them off. Like destroy all their chests, everything they have would really, really piss them off. So um, I think that's it really with how you grief a server properly. Because I've seen like these noob griefers that go around and it's like the grief a server, I had one on my server actually, I gave OP to the wrong person and he was grief fit and I rolled it back with using the core protect plugin in about like 2 minutes it took me and then he came back to laugh at us and saw how noob we are and then when he saw everything is fixed he was like raging and stuff because he was um, trying to grief the whole thing for about 1 hour so it was like really pretty funny actually how he thought he actually griefed us and stuff and if you're a server owner and stuff, always keep backup of all your map and have a set home in your spawn. I always have a secondary account if your server's cracked, or you can buy a secondary premium account. But like my servers are always cracked because I like cracked servers more. So like if you have a secondary account that's OP, and if you get banned or anything by the griefers, you can join with that and maybe deal with them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put a list of plugins that had to stop griefers from your server in my description video, in the video description. So you can check it out and install them, and you'll probably be good. So yeah, thanks for watching, and please rate and comment, subscribe if this video helped you.